Hey y'all, it's me back with another video. Okay, y'all. Um this is some bad news. I mean not not like someone passed away, but the actor Jesse Smollett, who um I guess his real fame is um Empire, the show Empire, that's like his latest thing. But I know he's done other movies. Like his family has been in the industry for a long time. His sister, his sister is an actor also. So their family has been in the industry for a while. I was trying to pull up a picture of him. Um oh and and it has the the it's on CNN's uh website Empire Star Jesse Smollett attacked impossible hate crime and that's Jesse in case you guys don't know who he is. So I should just read the CNN Thing is probably easier than me trying to summarize it. Empire actor Jesse Smollett was attacked in the early morning hours of Tuesday in what in what Chicago police are calling a possible hate crime. Smollett was attacked by two people yelling out racial and homophobic slurs and poured an unknown chemical substance on the victim and other news outlets are saying that he was bleach. According to police, one of uh, Smollett's alleged attack attackers also, also put a rope around his neck. Both fled the scene. Smollett took himself to Northwestern Hospital and is in good condition, police told CNN. Chicago Police Department spokesman Anthony, somebody said, police continue to seek any available evidence, video to identify possible offenders in this case. So they don't have a description or anything. Um, so it says he was shaken and angry that an attack like this could happen. Smollett told CNN he fought back at the attackers. Given the severity of the allegations, we are taking this investigation very serious and treating it as a possible hate crime. I don't understand how they could be treating it as a possible hate crime. Of course, this is a hate crime. I mean, it's crazy. He had already, I don't think this goes in to say that he had already received a letter to the um, studio saying that someone was going to kill him. Um, people. All people. And I'm not just, you know, you know, they said that the, they targeted him because he was gay. But I think all of us are in danger right now. All people of color. And we got to be careful. I mean, the the threat sh on his life should have been taken seriously to the point where he should not have been going out by himself. Don't get comfortable. When you get threats, take that shit serious. Don't, this, this right now is not the time for us to, to be comfortable and let our guards down. No. We got to be out here looking in our surroundings, paying attention to what's going on. If one of your coworkers or somebody say they don't like you, take that shit serious. Take it serious, cause uh, Trump look like he didn't he didn't set something in place, and y'all folks out here losing y'all minds for real. Jesse. His family, they have, you know, always spoke out against injustices and stuff. 
They all seem to be a very close-knit, extremely intelligent, extremely talented family. I hate that this happened to him. I really do. And this could have been so much worse. These people had some type of chemical that they threw on him and a noose around his neck. Like what? What? They were really planning to hurt him. This was, I don't believe that this was just some random act. Somebody knew that he was going to be in Chicago. I done told y'all, stop posting everything in real time on your social media. Stop telling people where you at. Oh, I'm, about, oh, I'm at this restaurant. I'm not saying this is what happened to him. But I'm just saying, we got to be more careful. We got to be careful out here. That could have really been a bad situation. I mean, it's bad. It's bad because he had to go to the hospital. I think they said he was released this morning. It's bad. But it could have been worse. Putting a noose around his neck, they could have killed that boy, young man. We got to be careful out here because these Trump folks, they didn't let them little red hats and make America great. That stuff then went to their heads. They out here losing their minds behind that make America great. Okay? We got to be careful. We do. Because, you know, the weird thing is, is when this year started, my ancestors had already told me, this is going to be a crazy year. And we already, we just in January. We just in January and the shit then started already. The shit is already hitting the fan. So y'all better be careful. Okay? You are out at night. Protect yourself. Don't be on your, women, especially women. When you out at night, if you catching the bus, you you using public transportation, don't be on your phone. You got to be looking around and seeing what's going on. Have you something in your purse? Women, get your pepper spray, your stun guns, whatever. If you work late night, you get off work late, honey, have you something in your purse, a sock full of rocks or something. Somebody run up on you, knock the hell out of them. You start swinging before they do. Somebody get too close to you, start swinging. Oh, okay, I thought you was trying to kidnap me. Shit. Don't take no chances with nobody. Somebody run up on you like they about to grab you, you go into full Wonder Woman. You hear me? Spinning around and everything. Don't. We got to protect ourselves, honey, because there's some crazy people out there. Men, too. Y'all do the same thing. Don't let nobody get too close to you. Don't let nobody walk up on you. Don't let nobody use your phone. Don't, uh-uh. Don't, if you, ladies, if you getting off work late at night and you don't have nobody to meet you, you make sure you keep something, your keys or whatever, in your hand. Don't wait till you get home to be digging in your purse, fumbling for your keys. Have your keys in your hand. You walking down the street, you have your keys. You have your keys in your hand already. And you hold, you know, you keep one key down. If some, somebody walk up on you, honey, you jam that key in their eye, up their nose, whatever. I keep a whole lot of stuff on my keychain. I will wear you out with these keys. We all take care of ourselves, honey. Seriously. We got to be out here. We got to be vigilant. We got to take care of ourselves. Because the, the, the folks, they out here plotting. They plotting. 
So, y'all want to make America great? We're going to make it great. We're going to make it great together. I feel I feel so bad for for Jesse because that type of violence puts a damper on your spirit. It takes you a while to get over that. And I know firsthand. We are praying for Jussie. I'm just, you know, hoping. I mean, I know he has an extremely close-knit family. I'm pretty sure, you know, he has a lot of friends and stuff who can, you know, rally around him and help him heal from this. But this, this is sad. This is sad. That young man, he didn't, he didn't deserve that. Don't nobody deserve that. No, the people that deserve it be the people that get to live their life in jail and ain't nothing really happening to them. They live a hundred years. I'm just, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about the world that we live in right now, about what's going on in this world other than the fact that we have to be careful. Especially women. Transgender, gay, everybody. We got to be careful. Because they not playing with us no more. They out here. They on some real shit. And um, we need to be too. I love you guys. Take care. Uh, I will be back later on to do my live broadcast. I will talk to you guys then, okay? I love you. Bye.